Hello, in the Dental Minute and Dentistry Master Classes videos, we want to teach you all techniques from the most simple uh, technique to the most complex. A full mouth reconstruction in a severe wear case with implants, sinus lifts. We're about to video a case where we did bilateral sinus lifts with implants, that type of thing. But this technique I'm going to show you today is a very practical technique for an appropriate situation. This lady is about 95 years old, not in great health. In a perfect world, you'd extract all the teeth and place implant-supported dentures, removable or non-removable dentures, but that is not in the cards. That is not going to happen. These teeth are mobile, and we want to just hold what we've got. It's a very practical te stabilizing technique using ribbon, which is a reinforced strip with bonded composite. So you can see this tooth is very, these teeth are very mobile. Not much bone around the teeth. And I've already looted these teeth together. We're not doing anything to the bridge on the other side. And so the first thing I'm doing is roughening the palatal side of the teeth to be splinted with the ribbon and composite with a coarse diamond burr, football diamond. Then I'm going to etch the porcelain, because she has some old veneers on these teeth, with 4% buffered hydrofluoric acid. And I'm going to etch the teeth with 38% phosphoric acid. Since there's no dentin exposed, I'm going to etch the teeth for about 45 seconds. Because I want to etch the porcelain for about a minute and a half or two, I'm going to place the buffered uh, hydrofluoric acid, the orange, on the porcelain for about a minute and a half before I add the 38% phosphoric acid to the teeth. So I'll leave the hydrofluoric acid on the porcelain for two minutes. I'll leave it on the teeth for about 45 seconds to a minute. Then I'm going to rinse it off and I want the teeth to be wet before placing the primer adhesive because it enhances the hybrid layer if there is any exposed dentin. Now this is primer adhesive. Then be sure you blow all the primer adhesive off onto a 2x2. Two two. Don't leave it wet. Don't leave the primer adhesive wet on the teeth. So I'm curing the primer adhesive. Now this is the ribbon, a bondable reinforced ribbon. This is a total patch-up technique. So I'm using a periodontal probe to measure the approximate length from the cuspid to the central incisor. So I'm measuring from here to here and I'm going to make it a little bit longer because there's a curve. Then you have to cut it with these special scissors. Then I'm going to place it on that, the teeth that have already received primer adhesive. Then I've soaked this in primer adhesive, the ribbon. Then I'm blowing off all the excess. I'm not curing it though, because it would make it stiff. Then I'm placing flowable composite along the path on the palatal of these teeth where I'm going to place the ribbon. ribbon. Do not cure this. Place the ribbon on that unset filled re resin. And then use this ball burniture to work the ribbon into the filled resin. Now these teeth are mobile, so you're going to need to stabilize them from the facial or they'll move away when you touch them with the ball burnisher. And I'm just working that in, then I'll remove that excess filled resin. Then once, it, once it's in place, come back and cure it. And I'm going to cure it for about 60 seconds in three or four different areas. Now I'm just checking to see if there are any edges. And I'm going to come back and place some more filled resin on those edges. Then just work it in with a ball burnisher. Cure that and I'll cure it 60 seconds, 60 seconds, 60 seconds. I'm going to check the occlusion. I'm checking the stability of the teeth. They're immobile now. They don't move. Good and solid. Okay, so that's a quick way to stabilize teeth in a very compromised situation when you want to do something fairly simple, and that's the Dental Minute.